morning everyone! Marie you! Today is the 21 of December and it's you. Um, I'm gonna start with the Meat and Crocky Advent. So today we have a tea, it is the long and Longest Night, which is the Yule Tea from Chizahu's Tea, uh, because today, uh, tonight is the Longest Night, and after that we will see uh, the night shortening. Yay! More sun after this night. After that, there is the Christmas light. Two point uh, two zero two two from us. Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't show up great on the computer, but there's pickle of almost every color, and the base is like a beige with yellow. And we have a marker too from Wednesday Sassy because today is a special day since it's you. So we have a light bulb to remind us that the light is coming back. And if I don't, if I remember, it's supposed to glow a little bit in the dark. I think it's this one that glows in the dark. Yeah, I don't know if you will see it now. You won't. Mm. But it glows in the dark and it's so cute with this little eyes. So it's a Christmas light bulb. So cute! After that, it is the pa blueberry papeterie. My hands and arms are not cooperating with me today. It's hard. Oh, that's little ornaments for your days in your planner. It's really cute. I think I'm gonna give those to someone because I already bought the full sheet of those. So it's gonna make someone happy. And next is the one from Cyprus Sarcial. So the name is Cert. And it is the same thing in English from French. It is from Norse mythology. Cert is the guardian and ruler of Muspelheim, destined to defeat Freyd at Ragnarok and destroy the world with fire. So that's from Colin's, uh, Colin's definition. So let's see what sort is. Oh, it's a really deep brownish uh, red purple. It's beautiful. And there's like purplish reddish it's it shows up more it goes really well with the with the purplish that we have here that's good I wish I had a light or a taro for you I don't have one Do I have something that is... No, I don't. So, just a moment. I'm gonna pick up my Paro and Orco. I'll put it in my box. Oh, and I wanted to uh, show you the chocolate from Ernestine. It's a gift that I received from my job. 
and those chocolates are so good. I think they are based in Montreal. Les chocolats Ernestine. Uh, Ernestine chocolate. You can go search on the internet. I'm gonna put the link. I'm gonna write to put the link. Ernestine. And yeah, those were amazing. Seriously. I'm sad I share them with my colleagues, with my roommates. I should have kept them for myself. But I'm too sweet and I share everything. So let's start with the Oceanic Tarot. So what should I learn for today? So two of pentacle options. Let's see what it means. Keywords, choice, property, finances, balance, judgment, contract, detail. These two show a decision is underway. You're considering your options, rehearsing all the possible outcome rather than taking action. The choice may concern job, places to study, potential own, or where to travel. In personal finances, there are demands on your resources. So you may find yourself juggling income and expenditure in order to balance the books. Advice, pay attention to the detail of any financial agreement or offers. Look for the long-term benefits rather than going for short-term gain. Perfect. Next is Therapeut. So, what should I learn for today? You don't have to be perfect to be lovable. That's a cute one. The red panda. And you know what? I think I'm gonna pick up something from my coat. Everything is going down. I have the oracle and the towel. So I'm gonna go with the oracle today. So, Pro Taro by M.G. Cullinan and there's the Urban Pro Oracle by the same person. We have crows near our house, so I really love them. So, really, I'm going to drink a little bit. Again, peach iced tea with bubbles. So, Crocs, what should I learn for today? And there's already a card coming out. Battle. The back of the card are that. First, this one, two, six points. So battle and bond. Uh, you may find that defensing feelings are brewing, whether from within or from an external source. If you have perhaps stepped on someone on um, some toes or entered in someone's territory uninvited, be prepared to deal with the consequence. 
Uh, this card may also indicate that you will need to defend yourself against someone attempting to infiltrate your space. Okay, and it says, where is it now? Oh, I put it in the, somewhere in the deck, and I don't remember where. Did I put it there? Okay, so there's scroll on the wire there, too. It says that I may or may not receive uh, external help from someone, because they are just watching, and not being involved in their battle and the next one bond so uh, if you did not know crows bond for life um, bond represent a karmic relationship a connection that goes beyond our everyday existence whether it is a relationship to a person, a career, a place, or a hobby, this soul level connection is deep and strong. You can feel it course within your veins. Bonds, bond creates an energy that pulls you closer to where you need to be and will tug you back when you get too far away. When you draw the bond card, use this as an opportunity to focus on areas of your life that you feel deeply connected because it is here that you find your strength to push forward and conjure the enthusiasm needed to reach a goal. So yeah, those cards are thick. If they are great and seriously, if you're a little bit interested in crows, go ahead and buy them. The Tahoe is amazing too. I'm a big fan. So I will go join drink coffee because I need it so much. Um, it's like it's it's like my brain is not connecting with my body. So I think it's gonna help for that. I'm gonna go on my planner and plan. Not, well, not plan. Write my uh, thankfulness, my habits. Uh, what I will be knitting today. I did all that yesterday for my nephew. So starting here to here. So it's not bad. If you see, there's a little design, but it's really pale and not over the top. So it's really, it's really cool. And uh, amazingly, my biggest sister bought some gift. Uh, for us to give to our nephew that we will uh, give her the cash back so at least he will have those gifts from us there's the uh, socks the, did I show them? I don't think I showed them but I'm not sure where did I put them? I'm so lost seriously those are my own pattern and we have kits at uh, Meet and Crocky shop on Etsy so those are little spring gnomes with flowers and the design on top is as if it's the roots of the flowers. And you have um, portrait eyes, eye uh, ear. So I'm gonna give them to him. And the leg warmer might be more for his birthday or the new year. His birthday is the 8th of January. Okay, so there's 7. That's such a bad auntie. Well, anyway, he will receive that. And he's so cute. He, uh, my sister told me he loves his... Uh, it's like warmer. I made them. I made him one year so much. He put them in his arm, uh, on his arm. Sorry, on his legs, and he loves them too. It's so cute. So I have to make him some more. It's, it's so cute. I have to. 
and his favorite color right now is pink so that's a pinkish leg warmer I'm making right pinkish corally color okay so I'm done speaking for for now I'm gonna see you back later and I wish you a good day bye